Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to compare table schemas using a simple SQL script in MySQL. Have you ever been in this situation where you need to do troubleshooting? Your boss says, the application just crashed. Quick, go fix it. And you got to go fix it. But to fix it, you first need to find it. And you think to yourself, ugh, somebody changed something somewhere, but what and where? And then after an hour of misdirected troubleshooting and rabbit holes that you fall down, you discover the root cause. Somebody ran a script that reduced the size of two varcar fields from 20 and 25 down to 15 and 15. So the tables changed. That was the root cause. Or maybe you've been in this situation trying to figure out how to test. So your project manager says, well, the good news is Project X is finally ready to deploy to stage. And you say, that's great. And then the project manager says, well, the bad news is we're not sure everything was properly managed through source control for the release. Uh-oh, you think to yourself. And then the ugly news. Project manager says, you'll need to compare against dev and test environments to check for any missing elements that didn't make it out to stage. <laughs> some specific examples of table schema comparisons where you take schema snapshots, drop them to text files, and then compare either over time or against different instances are as follows. Number one, environments. Maybe you want to compare dev to stage or stage to prod. Number two, versions, releases. Maybe you want to comp compare the current versus prior schemas. Number three, events. Maybe you have a data refresh that occurs on weekends. Maybe you have some other schedule change and you want to compare before versus after schemas. And finally, number four, history. Maybe you want to automate taking daily schema snapshots by running the script or scheduling it to run and output the results to a text file. And that way you can have, say, 60 days of historical snapshots. And any of those days can be your before versus after when you do your comparisons to try and troubleshoot a problem. One quick caveat, this script is limited to tables and views only. And although I've built tools that compare all elements, like when test gears MS SQL diff merge that I built about 10 years ago, the decision was made not to do so here because 80% of the time the root cause is in the tables and keys. So we just keep things simple by avoiding functions and sort procedures and triggers and all the other things we could go into. And 80% of the time, this is important, the average user lacks permissions to go deeper into the sort procedures and stuff anyway. So we're just keeping it simple, going for the Pareto principle, covering what 80% of the need is with simple scripts. So how do you run the scripts to compare, for example, environments? Well, the process looks something like this. First, you start out with the simple schema dump script. And we're going to see where to download that in a minute from GitHub. And then you run that against that script against the database. In this case, we're going to run it against dev. And then we output the results of the script to a text file. So then we have a dev schema snapshot the table, the field names, field sizes, all that good stuff in a text file. Then we run the script again, but this time against stage. And we output it again, but this time against the stage snapshot. And then you use your favorite text diffing utility and you compare the two text files and you get a side-by-side -side comparison that quickly identifies, hey, here's the few areas that are different. How do you run the script to compare against history? Well, the process looks something like this. You start out with the same simple schema dump script. You run it on day one, get a snapshot. Run it again on day two, get a snapshot. Day three, get a snapshot. Day four, get a snapshot. And then on day five, you run it and get a snapshot. The text file, but an event happens and you want to know, oh, I want to compare day five against day one. Use your text diffing tool, load up the text file for both days and compare. And you'll quickly identify any elements that are different. And now the demo for downloading the script for MySQL. So open up a browser and go to github.com slash data research labs, all one word, hit enter. And all of our different projects come up there. Find the SQL scripts project. Right now it's at top, it won't be, it's gonna move around. So open up the SQL scripts and we want the MySQL schema diff. Right now that's all there is, so it's one link. Later, within a couple months, it's going to be MySQL first, and then you'd have to click the schema diff link, and then you would be down here. So I want to download this file, and I could download it, or what I'm going to actually do is click the link, click raw, click into the cell, control A, select everything, and then control C to copy everything. There, now I have the entire script <clears throat> in its raw format. I can paste it to a notepad file and then open it up in a SQL editor of my choice. So that's how you download the script.
and the demo for capturing the schema snapshots. I'm using the MySQL Workbench. I could have used dBeaver or any other IDE, but I chose this one, native for SQL, MySQL. And I used demo tables that I downloaded. So there's this Sequila database, and it's got a bunch of tables, a bunch of columns, and it's got views, which is good because we want our schema dump to look at views. Here is the script that we downloaded in the last demo from the GitHub repository. I have changed use Sequila. I've changed the schema here. That's the only thing you have to do. And then I will execute it. And voila, it ran. And you will see the output. It has a schema name, doesn't repeat, there's no point. And then, it, so every table, every view, scroll down, every new view or table, it's and they're alphabetically sorted by name, it's gonna repeat the schema name, the table name, parentheses at the top here, the object is a table, what's the object name, the actor table, and then it has all the columns, the indexes, the columns in the index, primary key, etc. Viewed out wider. We have all of our uh, ordinal values, 001, 002. We have our data type, small int, bar car. We have our size, not null, null. Obviously, there's a lot more properties, but these are the basic ones, and that's what this script handles. If you wanted to, you could go into the info schema tables and go dig out more properties and expand on this. So this index, IDX title description, has two columns, title and description, on the film text table. So there we go. And how do we output this? I could control A, control C, copy everything, go out to Notepad and paste it. Or native to MySQL Workbench, there's an export here. I could click that and export it. So I will do that. So I found my path, I entered a name, I'm gonna save it, and I have the CSV saved. And the final demo for how to compare the schema snapshots. First, you'll need a text diffing tool. Uh, my favorite is source gear diff merge. Just look that up in Google. Click source gear diff merge the download. The top one here, diff merge source gear, click that. And then right there, download now, follow the instructions and you'll have it. You'll see what that looks like in a minute. Alternatively, I also like uh, Presto Soft uh, Exam Diff is another good one. Not the pro, but the base version. And the top one there, Exam Diff Review Our Visual Component, click that, scroll down, there's your download. Not the pro, that'll cost you money, has extra features, just the regular download. So either of those will work great, and I re highly recommend both of them. And the demo for comparing the schema snapshots of the two MySQL uh, database outputs. One I just did, and one I did quote unquote a day ago, but actually just a mock-up. So I have my two schema scripts, CSV files. We're gonna click, hold down the control key, click. Now we've got two files selected in a specific order, the old one first, and we're gonna right click. The first time you run source gear diff merge, it's gonna add this menu item to your Windows file explorer to the context sensitive help. And once it's there, it'll be there forever. And the tool's free, so once you install it, you're done forever. So anyway, diff merge, and I wanna compare, I'm gonna select the lower one because I want the older file, my baseline on the left, so I'm gonna click this comparison order. I'm just gonna hit okay, and voila. Over here, I can see that there's a lot of differences, all those little red dots. I can see where there's heavier differences and lighter differences. And over here, there's my 09 CSV schema dump. Here's my May 10th, schema dump. I can see that this last update column wasn't there on the 9th. It was added on the 10th. If I jump to the next difference, I can see that the Varkar field went from 30 up to 50. And the next field went from 10 up to 20. Light pink says that there's a change somewhere on the line. Darker pink background says this is the exact change, the difference. Jump. Another, it looks like every table had the last update column removed. Well, I just did it, so I know that's the case. Also, we had on the ninth that these two columns in the category table, the category ID and name, both were nullable on the ninth, but they're not null on the tenth. And the last update column was added in. It wasn't there before. So you can see this is really handy when you have a giant script with and that's not that big, 238 lines, but you can quickly identify the differences over time or across environments. 
dev to test to stage to prod. Just dump your table schemas and compare. Wow, you're still watching. Thank you. And bonus tip for you. This script uses the information schema. And here on Wikipedia, why that matters, those information schema views are ANSI standard. And that means they're universal. And that means that it's cross-platform with light syntactical changes. You can use these scripts in Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, and PostgreSQL. And all those platforms have tables and views, so it's not much change. If you want to on your own, you can go deeper into the information schema views and different platforms will have different elements, but you can go from there. Anyway, information schema view is pretty neat. Thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.